it's the Games and Graps podcast. This week, we go through our game for the week, give our thoughts on WWE's dumping grounds, and share our love for Baron Corbin. We love you, Corbin. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 97 of the Games and Graps podcast. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Creeping ever closer to 100. We're getting there, slowly but surely. We absolutely are. How are you doing? I'm all right, yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're about to experience a heat wave, Ooh. and I'm going to put the barbecue on, so that's a good nice. time. Cool. I actually ventured outside today for a change. Wow. How was it? Um, warm. Yeah, nice. it was pretty warm. Did you wear shorts? <laughs> oh, I did, actually, yeah. You did? Uh, yeah, well, it only went into my garden. It was shorts. I did go outside in, into the real world as well, but I wasn't wearing shorts. I was wearing actual, you know, trousers, like a normal human. I got excited then, <laughs> thinking you'd gone out into the big wide world. Yeah, well, I have, I have been out in, in the big wide world, I went, like with a meal, for a meal with my parents, which is nice. And I went around like the canal and stuff. You sound like such an old man. I am. That's I'm an old man enough. trapped in a 30 year old body. He plays video games. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> uh, so, Finn, what have you been playing? Um, I'm playing quite a bit, actually. Um, playing 27 games all at the same time mm. uh, so i'm playing a lot of mortal kombat 11 at the minute which is how, how are you finding it it's really really good i like it a lot uh it's the first fighting game i've played in some time mm-hmm. um but i'm really enjoying it i then play x um this is my first mortal kombat game since nine on the ps3 oh, okay I can't remember which one. um yeah it's really good i'm enjoying it a lot um and yeah i'm basically grinding down for the platinum right now uh, i've basically got most of the trophies the only ones i need are for completing two of the pretty towers in the towers of time mode which, oof, it's going to take a while. That's grindy. It is grindy. But there isn't a quite an easy way to do it, which I'll probably take it right off at some point. Ah. Yes. Um, and then, then the one is, like, you need to win or play a game with two other people, which in, but in, like, a group battle, which only happens every now and again in the Towers of Time, and I've yet to see one, which is, which is really annoying. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for that, and then just got to grind out some towers and get the last things I need. Fair enough. Um, I've been uh, playing yeah. it as well. Oh, cool. How, how are you? How are you finding it? Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's really good. I've been playing a little bit online. I find it quite overwhelming because there's quite a lot to do on it. Oh, yeah. It's like it's not just sort of, you know, back in the day when you had Tekken, it was like <laughs> arcade, time attack, and that literally was it. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, but like now there's like a wealth of options. Like, um, you, well, it's, you, you know, you've played it, but there's, there's so much to do. It's crazy. And it's, it's, it's a little bit daunting because I want to play the story mode. But then you've got the allure of the online mode, which I think is really good. Oh, yeah. Um, I, it's, it's just there's so much to do. And I like the towers as well. That's fun. But it's, um, yeah, it, it, it's it's just really good. But I just find it a little bit overwhelming. And uh, I still don't like the crypt. I don't like the way um, you have to unlock everybody's uh, second fatality like through the crypt. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, you don't have to unlock it. You can, you can use it whenever. Oh, you can? As long, as, long, as long as you know the, uh, the combination, you can just do it. Oh, it's right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Makes because... you wonder why they bothered putting them in the grip in the first place. We can just, just Google it. But hey. That's true, because you can use the, the easy fatality as well, can't you? So I'm assuming yeah, yeah. if you've got easy fatalities, then you can just do it that way. Yep, exactly. Oh, it's weird. Okay. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the loot box thing in, well, not in video games in general, but also in you know, Mortal Kombat 11, because mm. in, in fighting games, I tend to play one character and just get good at that one character. Yeah. Um, so if I want to ski over that one character, I'd have to keep going through every single chest trying to find the right gear, yeah, the right character. Which yeah. Is a pain. Yeah, really, I think it's a bit of a pain. They've had the crypt in Mortal Kombat for a while now because I remember on the, the PS2 ones, mm. um, like Deadly Alliance and a, some of the other weird ones that they brought out, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, there was a version of the crypt like on there as well. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. But it was just like a, it, I remember it being just sort of like a set graveyard. It was no sort of running around or nothing like that. You literally just scrolled side to side, up and down, yeah, and so selected the one many. that you wanted to crush, basically. Yeah. Who do you play as? I uh, play as Jade. Okay. Yeah, one of the long, like, pole thingy. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. I went, went through uh, I went a bunch of characters. I didn't want to play, like, Scorpion or Sub-Zero because mm. everyone plays Scorpion or Noob Cybot. Yeah, like, see, I play Noob Cybot. That's fair. But, um, I, I've always played Noob Cybot from like when I used to play Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the Mega Drive. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, he had an insane kick combination, which was just impossible to block. Oh, yeah. um, he doesn't have it now, but um, I think Noob, Noob Cybot's really good. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I try and stray away from Sub-Zero or Scorpion and people like that because I've been playing those characters for years. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like every every other game online I play is against Scorpion. And like even if it's not Scorpion, I'll play someone else and then between rounds I'll switch to someone else. And I'm like, ten bucks is a scorpion. And then yep, scorpion. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's every fucking time. Yeah. And everyone uses the same exact combo. It's like, yeah. I used to get I used to get pretty good blocking now. But hey. That's good. I mean that, that's <laughs> that's learning. the art. I mean, once you learn how to block properly and counter and things like that, the game just def- definitely becomes um, I would say a lot easier to play online, but yeah. um, I think it's really good. I think um, as as far as fighters go, I think it's probably the best looking one. Oh yeah, it's great. The vitalities look awesome. Oh, it's <laughs> so ridiculous. cool and amazing. <laughs> well, I, I do feel like the um, like the, the the super combination. I don't even know what they're called. You know, oh, like yeah. when you press the the triggers together. Yeah, the fatal blows. I feel like they're more brutal than the fatalities. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's just like like scorpion that like stabs in the eyeballs and kicks him in the face. It's like I'm yeah, <laughs> it's so cool. Like Baraka like puts those like spike things right through your jaw. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I mean shit. A lot of people play Baraka actually. I've noticed that. Oh yeah, yeah, like few Barakas. Um, I don't think who no one ever plays it. It's like Kozal Khan. I don't think about seeing anyone play online. Yeah, there's quite a lot that I don't really see a lot of. Sonya Blade, I don't really see much of. Johnny Cage. Yeah. I've seen Cassie Cage, Jax. No one ever plays as Jax. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I quite like Johnny Cage. I like his fatalities. No, funny. Yeah, I like. I always <laughs> like Johnny Cage as a character. I think yeah. Cassie Cage is quite cool. She's quite popular. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's cool, a very cool game. I like I'm playing a lot of the ranks mode at the minute with the like, tournament stuff. That's a lot of fun. Mm. And, oh, uh, yeah, because they've brought the uh, the online ranked thing out now, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. It's it's very, combat, very combat League, is it? Uh, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very addictive and... Uh, yeah, trying to grind up, grind up to my, the next like levels. I think I'm champion in a minute. I nice. Was, like, I think it's the third one. Yeah, we're getting there. It's good. Nice. Cool. Uh, other than that, um, uh, finished Blood and Truth on VR, PSVR. Oh, cool. Did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, really, really good. One, definitely one of the better uh, VR games out there. Very cool. Uh, very story focused. Um, yeah. And yeah, the story really ramps up towards the end as well. It's like it's very cool. I don't want to spoil anything, but. It's very good. I, mean, I highly recommend it if you're into shooters and uh, just good stories and video games. That's fair enough. I mean, yeah, I, I've played only a very tiny bit of it, but um, it's what I what I played was great. Um, I loved the London Heist on PlayStation VR Worlds. Oh yeah. And um, to be honest, I've been excited for Blood and Truth for ages. I've not even had a chance to play it that much, but <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's it's really really good, and it's ex- exactly what I expected it to be. And in no way is that a bad thing at all. Oh no! It's essentially an on rail shooter, but uh, fancified. There's like super fancy, and you do all these cool things, like you can pick locks and stuff like that. Um, it's very cool. I like it. Yeah, it's it's those kind of little intricate details I think that make VR games so cool. Like yeah. like yeah, you know, um, she did that first bit. Obviously, this is not very spoilery because it's at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like when you sort of you know you're breaching and like lock picking and stuff like that. It's um, it's quite it's difficult to explain because mm-hmm. obviously you have to see it to believe it. I know that sounds very cliche when it comes to VR, but it's true. Um, but it's it's just it's just really really cool, and everything is so accurate as well. Like uh, the shooting is phenomenal. Um, yeah, it's just so good. I, I, yeah, I, it it <laughs> deserves all of the plaudits that it's getting. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I like how you can like spin the gun on your finger as well by holding a button. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I enjoyed the climbing of the ladder bit as well. I know like it's something so simple and trivial, but yeah, like, yeah. just like using the remotes to climb the ladder, I thought that was cool. Yeah, my well, well, real life just there holding a two couple of low sticks again. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> Literally, that's all it is. Uh, uh, funny. Cool. Um, what else? I've uh, been playing Sekiro, finally. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, by uh, From Software. Really, really good. Um, definitely the hardest, I think it's definitely the hardest game they've made so far. Really? At least, at least to start with, I don't know if I get to that later on, because still um, near the start. Um, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of very timing based, a lot of time attacks perfectly and things like that. Okay. Uh, it was very stealth based, which I like. Like you can just sneak up on enemies, you can crouch, like stab them in the neck. <laughs> uh, very yeah. cool. It's definitely a game that I wanted to look at because I like the From Software games. I'm just not very good at them. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, people saw me play Dark Souls 3, and mm-hmm. to be honest, I did get further than I ever got before, but I still suck at it. But um, I I thought this looked really interesting. I, I like the look of the setting, but I, I've heard people say that it's, it's maybe even slightly slightly easier than the likes oh, really? of Bloodborne. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it gets easier as you go on. I'm still I still need the start. It's been the first like proper boss, which mm-hmm. I, I had to Google how to beat it because I was like, how the hell do you beat this? Thing? I couldn't do any damage. Uh, apparently, I missed like a like a uh, upgrade you can get. 
It's like, oh, oh. yeah, I didn't have that. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Like um, in Metal Gear Solid when you miss the thermal goggles and you just fucked for the rest of the game. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is, I mean, no, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it and I look forward to playing more of that. Mm. Um, also, I've been playing um, Persona Q2 on the 3DS. Uh, 3DS still has some life in it, turns out. Wow, okay. <laughs> still, making, still making games. Um, so, yeah, Persona Q2 is like a spin off Persona game, which has characters from Persona 3 and 4 and 5 in them. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, like a, like a dungeon crawling RPG kind of thing. It's very cool. Like, very story focused as well. And yes, it's right up my alley. I love it. Uh, that sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, if you, if you like Persona and, you, and you've still got a 3DS hanging around, I highly recommend it. It's super, super good. Um, and music as well is just amazing. Mm. Every, everything about it is great. Just, <laughs> it's hard to raid because I don't think people care about 3DS that much anymore. And it's kind of under the radar a bit. But yeah, if you have a 3DS uh, lying around, definitely pick this up. I do find it interesting that they do continue to bring games out on these consoles that are sort of starting to fade out. Like um, that Persona game probably could have come out on Switch. It could. There aren't mechanics on it which really worked. But I don't see how it would work on like uh, on Switch because you need to like draw the map as you go, which is a cool little neat uh, touch. But on the okay. Switch, I'm not sure how it work. I guess play a handheld would work, but playing it on the TV, it'd be a bit weird. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's a really, really good game. Highly recommended. Um, yes, other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, so far, I there's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah, Bloodstained. Um, it's streaming that, uh, streaming a playthrough on that. Uh, it's basically it was made by the guy who did uh, Castlevania, Sims of the Night, which is like uh, like a... One of the best open. games ever made, according yeah. to people. Yeah, exactly, I agree. It's, inc- it's incredible, like, platformer, exploring platformer thing. I call uh, uh, Metroidvania, they call them. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, and it's yeah, it's really really good. It's a little bit buggy. Um, <laughs> I went into a few bugs. At one point, like I had like find this big enemy and it just like froze, and I was just like, okay, I'll just stab it to death. What was just standing there doing nothing? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's a, some of the um, like cutscenes and things, or like the animations, a little bit janky. Um, but it's fine, you know, it doesn't really matter. The gameplay itself was really fun. Okay. Uh, does it the, does does it retain sort of a similar? Sort of gameplay to Symphony oh, yeah. of the Night. It does. Like, okay. One of the yeah, it's, it's basically Symphony of the Night, but different, different characters and things. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, okay, it, fair it, enough. <laughs> uh, but no, it is really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, also, speaking of speaking of uh, Metal Gear Solid, is uh, character voice in there by uh, David Hater. Oh, cool. Yeah, he sounds just like Solid Snake, <laughs> but slightly deeper voice and slightly more emo because he's like a vampire samurai dude. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, the thing is, right when when you play such a prominent is... role in a in a game or something like that, you know, even like an animated movie or whatever, yeah. it's so hard to then uh, envisage envisage them as someone else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I like... saw the the guy who played Sam Fisher, Michael Ironside. Uh... Like, I saw him in a film. Oh, I was yeah. like. What the fuck? Like this is that's Sam Fisher. What? I know that voice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and it's just his voice. It's not even like putting on a voice to be Sam Fisher. That's just his voice. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, because like as soon as I heard his voice, I was like, that's really sounds like Sonic Snake. Oh, that's oh, that's David Hayter or someone doing his best David Hayter impression. Yeah. I'll Google it and say, oh yeah, David Hayter. Also. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's about. Oh no, uh, Mario Maker Two came out. <laughs> my, oh my, yeah, did you pick it up? Uh, yeah, got it a day early actually. That worked. Oh nice. Early. Cheers to that. Shop two. Um, Good old shop two, man. Never, nice. never, never, never let you down. Oh, yeah. Great. Great website. Highly recommend it. Um, there are other uh, sites you can buy games from, FYI. Another one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but buy yeah. from that one because it's the best. This is, yeah, exactly. Um, what are you going to say? Oh, yeah. Really, really good game. Um, surprising about levels on there already. It's like obviously been like made by my people who got the game ready, like me, and like people like better tested, beta tested, and things. Um, yeah, really, really fun. Uh, already, like, a bunch of really great levels in there. Um, also, the story mode is really surprisingly, like, deep and interesting, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it's really fun. Like, the, the premise is, um, basically, Prince, Princess Peach's castle has been destroyed. You have to rebuild it by earning coins, and you can play, like, like uh, Nintendo levels to, to uh, earn coins and things. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you choose to build different parts of the castle, and by the end, you'll have the entire castle built. And, it's yeah, it's cool. That sounds good. Yeah, that like loads of stuff to create as well. It's like it's so many new things you can do. It's insane. I like, really look forward to what people come up with. It's going to be crazy. I awesome. thought uh, I did think it would be, it was going to be super popular because I mean oh, people yeah. have been sort of really looking forward to it for ages, and it feels like it's been coming for ages as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that it's out, and I'm glad that people are enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it because I knew I knew that you would anyway. But um, I'm glad that it's sort of out there in the world for people to sort of. I mean, some these people that make these levels, they're like complete geniuses. Oh yeah, like, like insane! Like, how do people come up with these things? It's crazy. Yeah. 
You'd put me in front of that, and I'd be like, uh, "Here's an enemy. Here's platform in the level." Yeah. <laughs> I'd, probably, I'd literally probably just like make something very similar to the very first Mario because <laughs> I'm not inventive at all. <laughs> yeah, same here. Um, you know, it's super cool. Uh, so I'm streaming uh, Mario Maker One up to the release date. Um, there's been a lot of fun, but now yeah, I'm going to be streaming a lot of Mario Maker Two coming up. Twitter awesome. TV slash Games and Grabs. Thank you. There you go. Um, yeah. So yeah. That's pretty much all I've been playing. A lot of games there. Uh, how about you? What have you been playing? All sorts as well, like you. So I've been sort of flitting around. I've, nothing can, nothing's really holding me down at the minute. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been sort of, I've been playing a lot of Pez actually at the minute. I've, it's, it's sort of got its hooks into me. I've been playing it on Xbox and because uh, I downloaded it off Game Pass or whatever. But um, oh, yeah. I've been playing a lot of that. I'm really enjoying it. And it's it's Pez. I don't need to talk about it. It's fine. It's Pez. Oh. Yeah. Um, also, I've been playing Formula One 2019, which actually came out today uh but i've been playing it for the last week and it's cool. really good awesome um it's pretty much formula one 2018 uh with a couple of different bits added but Probably it's really really good it's, yeah pretty much yeah i mean <laughs> it's but it is really good it's uh i mean i i think i find it i find the formula one games really exhilarating to play uh, because there there isn't really any other um, like racing games like them. It's very competitive. It's very fast. It's 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 very pretty as well. It's gorgeous to look at. Uh, it oh, yeah, really really is. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like the the courses are recreated to absolute perfection. Turn for turn, blade of grass for blade of grass. <laughs> nice. it, and it's crazy the detail that I mean, it's code masters. I mean, Jesus. I mean, they're the masters of ignore that pun but uh, they are uh, <laughs> they're, code, they, yeah well, they're, they're the masters <laughs> yeah. of the racing game oh, yeah definitely. they've nailed it they've absolutely nailed it and they've made another great formula one game it's actually come out earlier than it usually does so it usually comes out towards the back end of the formula one season but the formula one season is actually currently going it's still very much in its infancy uh so to actually have it alongside the formula one season is actually pretty cool so they've done a good job um i mean it's it usually comes out October? Question mark. Sure. And they sort of brought it out four months early, which is cool. cool. So, Very nice. uh, yeah, that's good. I recommend that. Uh, played a little bit of Car Mechanic Simulator, which I definitely took the piss out of on Twitter prior to its release. Bloody Car Mechanic Simulator. I don't know. And I played <laughs> it. And I was like, "This is going to be shit. I'm going to play this and laugh at it and never play it again." And um, I played it for ages. It was really good. <laughs> and then like, I didn't know if it was saving or not because those games are so basic. Yeah. Like the menus are terrible <laughs> and you don't know what's going on. You don't know if it's saving or what. So you have to leave your Xbox on just in the hope that you, you know, you, your game is saved, but yeah. it's, 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 it is really good. Um, it's, 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 um, in depth, but also yeah, what, what do you actually do in it? Other than like maintain cars. That's it. That's you just maintain <laughs> cars. And like there's there's story cars to fix and then there's like odd jobs. So I think basically the idea of it is to sort of build up your garage empire. Right. Um and you know, you can like earn uh, like own multiple garages and stuff like that throughout your mechanic career or whatever. But um <laughs> it's 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 actually really good. It's it's more in it's not as in depth and annoying as farming simulator <laughs> right um but it is in depth but it's also quite simple the way that it works and is it made by the same the, people as I, farming simulator? I guess so i think mm. it is they all look they all have that same font on the front on the front of the box oh yeah so, yeah, so what's the actual like gameplay what do you how do you like do stuff so you're in first person <laughs> right right Okay, walking around your garage and then you want you there's, you there's like a uh, like a dial-up menu that you can bring up like a you know like a circle menu and you go to your phone and then you can well you can actually do these things manually or you can do it via a menu but um you answer people's requests for you to fix their cars the car comes in you take it to the lifter you look at what's up with it and you can buy the parts and all that sort of stuff it's it is quite in depth yeah. and it sounds boring as shit but it's super addictive hmm like it, is, like it shouldn't be good it shouldn't be like these, <laughs> these simulator games i always take the piss out of them for being like why why does it even exist i saw car mechanic car mechanic simulator and i was like that's stupid <laughs> yeah what it's it gonna be boring as shit <laughs> but it is it's actually really really good fun so um it's and it's just one of those games where you can put on and lose 
time to it. Yeah. Like if you put a Spotify playlist on and just sort of, sort of like kept getting cars into fix and um, it sounds terrible. I know this. <laughs> I know it does. But when you play it, um, it's surprisingly very, very interesting and fun. Cool. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, you, yeah, you're gonna have to. <laughs> it's, yeah, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Um, what else have I been playing? What else have I been playing? I've been playing Forza Horizon. A lot of things oh, yeah. involving cars. Yeah, so I've been playing Forza Horizon Four. Um, I've not delved too deep into the Lego expansion yet, but what I have played is very cool. cool. Um, so I don't need to talk about Forza. Seven point eight out of ten. Too much driving. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been playing Mortal Kombat, like I said. Nice. Did you get that on Xbox or uh, PS4, by the way? Mortal Kombat? Uh, uh, Xbox. Damn. I was going to kick your ass online. And I've been playing, <laughs> uh, I've been playing The Division 2. Cool. Um, have you a chance to play uh, Crash Team Racing yet? Oh, yeah, I have. Sorry. I have I oh. have played Crash Team Racing. I have. That's oh, cool. a, I'm glad you reminded me because I completely forgot. And <laughs> it's good. Awesome. I mean, yeah, I really want to play that because like, that's one of my games from my childhood that I played a lot growing up. So once I've cleared one of my games from one I'm currently playing, I'll, that's going to be my next game for sure. Yeah, I mean, it is really, really good. It's the Crash Team Racing that you remember, but it looks better, and it's a very generous package for the price that you pay for it. Oh, yeah. Because you get loads. It's not just the stuff from Crash Team Racing. There's, like, bits and bobs from the other Crash Racing games that they brought out that nobody cared about. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's cool. There's a heap of courses on there, which is great. Uh, There's, you know, future DLC coming out for free, which is great as well, including a Spyro Grand Prix type thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really good. The They've kept the mechanics exactly the same. Cool. Um, me personally, I've actually changed the button so that the trigger is accelerate. And it's so basically, it's like Mario Kart. That makes sense. Yeah. Is it as good as Mario Kart? Yes. No, I don't think it is. I, I still <laughs> don't think it is. Uh, but with that said, it is very good. I've been playing it online as well, and it's very competitive. And it, oh, yeah. Yeah. it looks beautiful, plays great. Nothing wrong with it at all. It's very good. Cool. That's something else about Mario Maker as well. Just added like a versus online mode, which is pretty cool. Mm. Um, and then the, then the issue I had with it was like the input lag was pretty bad. I don't know if that was because I was streaming it as well. It might be okay. part of a bit. But it's really fun. It really has a lot of potential. Yeah, like I've, I've, got, I've got a thing with playing online games at the minute. Because I've, uh, I've been playing Mortal Kombat online. I've been playing um, um, like other, other bits and bobs online. Crash Team Racing. And I've been playing Rocket League again as well. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, because I, yeah. Rocket, I love Rocket League. It just, it just so never get, it never gets old. Yeah. And they keep adding new stuff to it. And it's just, it's still so awesome. Flawless yeah, so game. Good. Yeah, perfect. One of the best games ever made. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it definitely is. And yeah. I think it'll be around forever. I don't even think they need to make a sequel. The, oh, yeah. that... there's, like, there's like so many tournaments and things going on, going on with it. Like, you see some crazy, crazy good people playing it, like doing these insane trick shots to get mm. awesome goals. Like, whoa, these people are really good. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah, great. It's, things, all the uh, things you can do with it, it's insane. Yeah, it's mental, but it's just still so good. They've got like a cool 80s event on at the minute, which is really ace. Oh, yeah, um, they have like Ultimate Warrior and something like that, skins for it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they've got like Ghostbusters yeah. stuff and Back to the Future. So it, you know, it's the the fact that they keep adding really great stuff to it, and the you know, obviously still maintaining the same great gameplay that it always has had. Um, that game could be around forever and never be shit. Oh yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. Played a couple of games on Switch as well. Nice. While I'm thinking about it, um, my friend Pedro is one that I've played. Oh, I yeah. you heard of it or not? Oh, we, yeah, we want to play that one. <laughs> it's really uh, it's really cool, and it's a mindless game. It's mindless fun. That's all it is. Oh, yeah. uh, the mechanics are really funny. Uh, the game itself is hilarious. Basically, uh, a banana comes to you in a vision, and it's called Pedro. There you go. Fair play. Yeah, <laughs> and you just go around shooting everybody, and you have no idea why. So um, don't ask questions. You don't need to. So <laughs> uh, so my friend Pedro is really, really good. And also, uh, I downloaded Hollow Knight because it was really cheap. Mm. Yeah, I did want to be on there. And it's really beautiful. Like I didn't know what it was, but it's like a. I guess it's like a Metroidvania, like yeah, the other game. Like yeah. yeah. So. Um. And it's but it's it's really pretty and really really great. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing a little bit more of it. I've only played a very 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 tiny amount. Yeah, that's one. Of, it's another one of my infinite backlog. But it's ace. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So yeah, that's what I've been playing basically. It's good stuff. Um. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of gaming news this week. Uh, no. We had E3 a couple of weeks ago. It's that kind of. Uh, covered everything. Um, I have watched the uh, Final Fantasy VII trailer about 37 more times. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's so good, yeah. Still but, loving uh, it? Oh, yeah, still loving it. I also <laughs> went back and watched, like, uh, reaction videos from, like, the original 
announcement is like it's, it's really like nothing else there's no other big game release has been like this no game announcement has been like this it's like people getting up and cheering people bursting into tears at this announcement is like I don't think any other game has been like that and it's really not been anything that I can think of no I don't think so either excitement. I mean Final Fantasy 7 is one of the most beloved games of all time oh yeah for sure uh, and the fact that they, I, I just, I just hope that it's good. I, I know it will be, but you I, know, you always have that little thing in the back of your mind. Of, what if it's crap? Yeah, yeah. What if it's really what if it isn't what people <laughs> want it to be? You know. Yeah. So there's always that, but I, I think it's going to be great. I mean, it looks. I mean, it just looks fucking unbelievable. It really does. Yeah. Every, every we play that E3, saying it's it's really good. Like this is this is exactly what you want it to be. Um, and yeah, it's like the thing is as, as well. They could have taken the easy route and gone like. Just like HD that up, gives gives new character models, made the environments look better, and sort of put it out, and people would have been happy. They'd been like, yeah, okay, cool, we got one seven again. Um, but they didn't. They put all this new effort in, made it like as good as it can possibly be, and yeah, it's obviously got a lot of people uh, who generally love the game, and you know, were the fans growing up working on it. And yeah, so much, so much I love has gone into this, and it's just yeah, it looks amazing, and I'm sure it will be amazing. I'm 100 percent certain it'll be amazing. Yeah. It, it, it just looks it looks phenomenal. It really does. Uh, and it doesn't come out until next year, which is slightly disappointing, but there's loads yeah, of stuff March, that just not, doesn't not come right. out until next year. I mean, we've got yeah. plenty to play. It's not like we're short. We've got a shortage of games. It's not like we're in a drought or oh, anything yeah, like sure. that. Yeah, yeah. I but could dive good, into games from five years ago that I haven't even played. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it looks amazing. I can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so not really a lot of gaming news. Like you said, E3 pretty much covered it. But the world of wrestling has gone fucking bananas. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> Everybody hates each other. Yeah, absolutely. You've got AEW guys, um, you know, taking the piss out of WWE guys. You've got WWE guys proclaiming that it's the best wrestling on the planet. Mm-hmm. You've got uh, indie guys being independent and then oh it's just it's mental like this is a, such a weird time for wrestling at the minute it's bizarre yeah it's going so on bizarre once. um before we get into all that nonsense let's talk about stomping grounds i thought the show itself was actually very good it was all right actually yeah um tell my name though you say this right <laughs> But uh, if if this if that was the name of the pay per view in 1998, people would have loved it. Yeah. Right, let, let's reel off some terrible names for pay per views. <laughs> Fully loaded. Right. Yeah. That's a fucking awful name. If that oh, was right. its name now, people would be like, Jesus Christ! Fully loaded. What an awful name. That's fair. That's fair. Actually, yeah. That have been the bad ones over the years. Yeah, I mean, WCW had some bloody awful ones. <laughs> towards, the, I mean, WCW was shit towards the end anyway. Yeah. But, like, towards the end of their, like, they had, like, sacri- no, no, sacrifices TNA. Um, they had, like, sacrifice. the seven, they were, like, going through the seven deadly sins. Oh, yeah. They never made it to the seven, the, like, past three or something because <laughs> WCW was brought out by WWE. But, you know, like, ECW had terrible names. November to Remember. That's a shit yeah. name. Oh, right. Pay-per-views don't have good names. Double or Nothing is not a great name. True. Fight, Fighter Fest is a worse name. Yeah. Oh, it's Fight, not, no, no. It is. It's a shit name. I know what it is. I know why they're doing it because of that. Um, the Fire Festival uh, thing that there's there was such a hoo-ha about, and they made a Netflix documentary and so on and so forth. But oh, yeah. um, Fight for the Fallen is. I don't think is. I don't think many pay-per-views yeah. have good names. Yeah. I don't know, stomping around just seems a bit cheesy. It's like, oh, stomping around, it's time to kick ass and take names. Blah, yeah, blah. that, no, no, oh. that stuff is cheesy, right? Yeah. But the name itself, I don't even think is that bad. It's when they start adding bollocks to it, like <laughs> like side names, like uh, stomping grounds, kick ass, take names. Oh, fuck off. Just call it <laughs> stomping grounds and it's fine. You don't need to call it the rest of it. Uh, just, and then, the, you know, like it, WWE make it cheesy. It's true. Like, the name itself, so fine. But when they add like boots to the logo, and then they add like these boots were made for walking for the theme song and shit really? like that, yeah, that's, that's what that. makes it rubbish. <laughs> like, not the actual name itself, uh, but yeah, I, I think over the years there are some very questionable pay per view names from all sorts of different companies. True, very true. Right, let's go to the matches. Uh, yeah, <laughs> stepping floor. It's time to take names and kick ass and kick names. What? Yeah, let's do that. These boots <laughs> are made for walking after all. So it's time to take take ass and kick names. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, right, the pre-show match uh, was actually really really good. Uh, two or five guys: Tony Nice, Akira Dazawa, and Drew Gulak. Triple threat for the uh, uh, Great Way title. Awesome match. 
I mean, so yeah, good. good. I mean, really good. Two, two, I've started watching 205 now on a weekly. Yeah, me too. And it's really, really good. But yeah. no one cares. Move it to full sale. Jesus Christ, move please. it to full sale. Yeah, please. Tape it along with NXT and do it that way because it, the, the, the SmackDown crowd, they just don't appreciate it. They don't. They just could not care any less. Yeah. About yeah, it. And it's like, yeah, I watched this week and it's like the crowd is just, just dead the entire time. It's like, oh, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, the action brings really good, but... Yeah, it's awesome. Because because it's a WWE Network show and not on television, mm. but obviously they're given free reign to actually wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, the, no one cares about it. I mean, and then when they do put on like these amazing matches, like the fans are like, whoa, whoa, this is really, really good. 2 one 5 2 one 5 Yeah. And then it just they fades away again. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, Jack Gallo has really impressed me the past few weeks. Like, he was on NXT UK, wasn't he, against... Uh... Catches, I know. Yes, he was, like, yeah. Yeah, really, really good matches. Yeah, like, so good. He's, his, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great wrestler. Really, really oh, good. Insane. Um, yeah, this match was really good. Um, Drew Gould, like, I ended winning, which is nice. Um, yeah, which is really cool. I'm yeah. really happy about that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think we both had Tony Nese for predictions. Yeah. So, uh, nearly a point there. No, I was, it was the same because I was thinking Drew Gould. Like, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like writing him down. I was like, oh, mate, Drew's been I know, getting seen a lot. He was on NXT recently. Oh, I don't know. But that one, I'm over the safe bet, and yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I was I was surprised that they took it off Nice, but I think Drew Gulak is better. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I just think he's better. He's a better <laughs> character. He's a better wrestler. Don't, I'm not taking anything away from Nice because he is really good. But yeah, um, Gulak has been flying the flag for 205 for some time. And I think over the last sort of couple of months, he's been dotted around, like you said, on NXT. He's been on NXT UK and Worlds Collide and stuff like that. Mm. And he's been very consistent and he's been awesome. So he, he deserves to have the belt, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think about Tony Nese as well. Like, as a heel, it's pretty cool. But as a face, it's kind of a bit generic. It's like generic happy guy who's happy to be there and fights the bad man. Yeah, <laughs> literally, any, he's any literally that you are. You've hit the nail right on the head with it. <laughs> yeah. um, but some guys, they just can't pull it off. Yeah, sure. uh, he's one of them, unfortunately. But I think he's as a as a heel, I thought he was great. But he needs he needs people along with him because he's very wooden in his personality. I find. Yeah, like the Miz, like Miz, great heel, terrible face, awful face, terrible. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, yeah, great match. Uh, watch your life, please. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the first match of the night on the main show. Was uh, Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans? Mm. Oh boy, Lacey's not very good at the wrestling, is she? Uh, it's. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is because in NXT she looked great. Yeah, but she's come up and I think she's been exposed a little bit. I mean, I love the character. I think the character is great. She looks amazing. She mm. talks really well, but yeah. when it comes to um, like wrestling, there's it just feels like there's a lot of botches, and it's a shame because she's. Got everything, but the actual wrestling side of things down. Yeah, did more time in NXT and in development, I think, but it helps. I think so too. Uh, you can see Becky like getting frustrated. I've seen a video of like Becky looking really pissed off. There was like a botched <laughs> sort of Becky was going to do her sort of springboard uh, back kick. Oh, yeah, yeah but Lacey well. staggered and wasn't in the position at the right time and things like that. And it looked messy and it was messy and. Yeah, it didn't look great for, for Lexi, unfortunately. Yeah, like Vince just saw like blonde hair, blue eyes, big boobs, and it's like, yeah, dollar signs, ka ching, mm. <laughs> get her out of there right now. For the most part, <laughs> she's great, but the oh, yeah. wrestling bit, it really does let her down. Yeah, she needs more time in uh, development, IMO. Yes, I agree. I do agree. As yeah. much as I hate to say it, because I really love her character, I think she's great. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, it's it a game match. Becky managed to uh, drag us to a decent match, I think. Yeah. Um, they both had Becky to win because, of course, yeah. uh, she's not going to lose to Tracy. Um, one point each there. Cool. Ding. Ding, ding. Um, so we had uh, The New Day, Woods and Big E versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, mm-hmm. uh, which is really, really good. Yeah, Again. cool. Yeah, really, really good, but not not surprising. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should be good because, you know, they're all awesome. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm-hmm. it's, I like Sami and Kevin Owens, oh, yeah. but I can't help but feel that it's getting a little bit old. Um, I really want to see Kevin Owens have a great run on his own. And I also want to see Sami Zayn have a great run on his own. Um, I just think the two of them being together holds them back a little. Yeah. But at the same time, it, it, it helps um, boost a somewhat lackluster like, tag team division they've got at the minute. Um, but plus they're great together. I think they're both like, together. Oh, yeah. They're, 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 I mean, they're great. Sami's awesome. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Kevin Owens is awesome. They're both awesome. But it's, um, I don't know, there's something about it that I don't like. I think it's been going on for too long. I'd like to see them go their separate ways. For Just not not against each other, because Lord knows, I mean, it's, although their matches were great, I don't need to see it again. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, really good match. Um, yeah, I liked it at the start. Um, Kevin Owens just like super kicked everyone. He was like spamming the super kick button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I actually thought at the start it's going to be like a super short match. He's like did the sense on onto words. So I was like, wow, is that going to be it already? But yeah. uh, no, it carried on. <laughs> it kicks out, thankfully. Um, but yeah, really cool match. Um, ended with Kevin Owens taking a stunner on Woods, which I like a lot. They still yeah, using that. I like that too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Sammy and uh, Owens win. Good. good. Yeah, absolutely. Really good. I'm very pleased with that. Yes, me too. Uh, so both said, again, both said the same prediction down. They both get a point. Ding. Ding, ding again. Um, so we have another good match uh, Samoa Joe versus Ricochet for the uh, US title loved it um, I thought it was really great and mm. to be honest I think it was always going to be like these two in the ring um, you know both just incredible wrestlers two very very different styles but um, I think Joe can have a great match with anybody and right. I think Ricochet can have a great match with anybody and combine them together and it's magic and that's exactly what it was. I thought it was really good. I mean, it was slow in parts, but that's that's Joe's side of things coming into it. Yeah. And then yeah, obviously when the pace quickened, Joe can also keep up with that and it just, I mean, you know, I love that spot where Joe catches the kick and flips Ricochet and Ricochet mm, just like a that. double <laughs> spin in the air and yeah, uh, it's, cool. it's mental. It's crazy, but um, it, yeah, it was, it was cool. It was just, it was it was it was great. Yeah, it's someone that's like hard to call. Like, like we could have gone either way. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I think so. the right decision was Ricochet winning for sure. Yep, yeah, and he's only going right there. Uh, he won with the uh, six thirty. Yep, it always looks super impressive. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, and uh, you had Ricochet to win that, so you get a point. Yay, Ding. Damn. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can catch up. It's plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. Loads of so, matches. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, so we had uh, then we had uh, Rowan and Ryan. Um, the SmackDown Tag Championships, um, SmackDown Champions, as it's heavy machinery mm-hmm. for the uh, championship, obviously. Yes. Uh, and then Danny Bryan's hometown, so the crowd obviously gonna love him. Yeah. Um, but uh, what I am going to do here is give props to Heavy Machinery for the way they dealt with it because mm. it has to be difficult as a face to go into uh, a town that, against the fan who's obviously going to be the fan favorite because he's from there. Oh, yeah. Although they're supposed to be the heels. So the way the heavy machinery dealt with that and the way that they sort of had to change it up um, to deal with the crowd, I thought they did it really well. I don't think that's an easy thing to do at all. And people are going to be quite harsh on heavy machinery, I'm sure of it, because of the, you know, the, they're fun. They are, they're fun. Yeah. And not not the best wrestlers, but they're fun. Yeah. And yeah, so I a lot of people are going to be harsh on them, but. Yeah, I was really impressed. Like, as many first like, came to the movie, I was like, oh, this comedy group, they're going to last five minutes. <laughs> But love these past few weeks. I've actually been really impressed by him, and I, you know, I like him a lot. So yeah, yeah been great. Yeah, good stuff. Um, so yeah, I believe, believe Heavy Machine is the best match so far. Um, yeah, that's fair. I agree. Yeah. So yeah, very cool match. Um, ended up with uh, Brian and uh, Rowan retaining the championships. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's, I had so it's a point back to me. So it's two all. Ding for you. Yay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not mad at Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan at being the tag team champions anymore. I didn't like no. it at first, but I'm fine with it now. Yeah, no, it's cool. Helps uh, again uh, pick up the tag team division. Yes, absolutely. Good stuff. Um, then we had uh, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss with Nikki Cross for the mm. SmackDown Women's Title. I think this is a great story. To be honest, I think this is really yeah. good character building because obviously what we're going to end up with is Nikki versus Alexa in a feud. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Um, but the way that they're doing it, I, th- I actually really do like. Um, I, there's not a lot I don't like about it. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, it's a very cool story. Um, it's actually thought Alexa was going to win this. Um, I was wrong. But it was a good match, I thought. I did sort of think that Nikki would cost her. Yeah, I mean, yeah that makes sense. Because he came into the ring and like, distracted uh, distracted Alexa while because you know, Bailey attacked her on the outside, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it cost her the match that way. So I, yeah, I think... Yeah. From that, and again, this is really good building, and I don't know like how they get it so wrong a lot of the time when they then when they are fully capable of doing uh, really good character building storylines. Yeah, seriously. Um, so yeah, I'd like to win that because I I thought like that would uh, continue on the story. Like next would have a championship, Nikki would you know uh, help her win all the time and stuff like that. Uh, 
But I was forgetting that Aleph is actually a war superstar, not a SmackDown <laughs> superstar, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, do you want another, another bet there? So, 3 2. Woohoo! Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, we had uh, Roman Reigns, who are, versus uh, Drew uh, McIntyre with the same <laughs> round. Yeah, best in the world. <laughs> best, best in the world, et cetera. <laughs> um, again, this was this is fine. Okay. It was okay. It's, it's exactly the match you expect it to be. Yeah. Um, I think Drew McIntyre is amazing. Okay. I really do. Um, but I also I rate Roman Reigns very highly. I mean, he's not a yeah. he's not a terrible wrestler at all. No, no. And this is a big match. Like when you look at the two superstars, like that's a huge match. It is. It's one problem with it. It's Shane McMahon. <laughs> Shane's everywhere at the minute. I don't I don't know why they're so obsessed with Shane McMahon. Uh, it's like every single segment is like has Shane in it. It's like uh, come on. It's like feuding with Roman Reigns and The Miz. All at the same time, but at the same time, mm. it's like, uh, come on. I think this comes to an end soon. I hope so. But I'm not mad at uh, Shane McMahon being a heel, but I no, don't need fine. him to wrestle. If he's going to be like a, a leader of a group and a heel, then that's fine. But he don't, I don't think he needs to wrestle so much because he's wrestling all the time. He's more active than like Finn Balor and Nakamura and yeah, seriously. where the fuck's Rusev and like other people. Yeah. Uh, but Shane McMahon is like, He's almost carrying the shows, and that in itself is a problem. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. I don't get it. Um, great heel, though. For, he's doing some oh, phenomenal yeah. work as a heel. Yeah, yeah great heel. Um, but yeah, as, as I say, it's like uh, so much time is spent on Shane McMahon segments on like Raw's back that every week. Yes, it's like, yeah. It's, and it's, 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 it shouldn't be the case. Not at yeah. all. Yeah, it's been one segment, one feud, and then, yeah, move on. But yeah. So I have, have him as an, an, an attraction. Like when he first came yeah. back, people were happy to see him. Now people are sick to death of him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. But I like, I, I actually I think Shale is a, sh- sh- Shale? What the Shale. fuck? <laughs> Shale McMahon. Um, I actually think Shane McMahon is a very good heel. Uh, when he's yeah. a heel, he's good on the mic. As a baby face, he stumbles a lot and looks very uncomfortable and sweats profusely. I mean, he does that anyway, <laughs> but he's a, very sweaty man. Um, he's a much better heel. Uh, yeah, I agree with that for sure. Uh, yeah, it did a good match. It was a cool, nice uh, like reverse Alabama slam on to Roman on the announce table. Was, like, yeah, that was cool, cool. yeah. Very cool. Um, so Roman was about to win with the spear, and the chain dragged him out, and dragged out the referee, and then hit a like, coast-to-coast, which is, as you know, is the most powerful move in wrestling. Yeah, definitely, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, kicked out of it. Which, oh, sorry, I was thinking Roman won there for some reason for, uh, for a second there. But no, he kicked out and then hit uh, Drew with, with the spear, and Roman won. Uh, so I got a point there. I think I said Roman. Possibly, yep. Yeah. I think I. I don't know who I said actually, but uh, I think you said Drew. I think. That's a, yeah, yeah, probably. But um, um, yeah, I, I'm fine with it. I mean, the the feud continues because obviously extreme rules we're going to have uh, Roman Reigns and for some reason the Undertaker um, <laughs> against uh, Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. I think this leads to. Um, the Undertaker versus Drew McIntyre at some point down the line, and then the Undertaker's mm. done. Hopefully, because uh, I read so. today the Undertaker <laughs> requested specifically to work with Drew McIntyre. Oh, really? I'll yeah, that. I like that list. Because yeah, Drew, Drew deserves a burst to the moon for sure. Thing is, I'm not. I wasn't mad at seeing Undertaker on Raw. It was actually a nice surprise because I wasn't expecting it for a change. Yeah, but uh, he's old. <laughs> he, is, he is, and I, I'm with you. He doesn't need to be around anymore. He just doesn't. Uh, but at the minute, with WWE struggling the way that it is, um, I think you need that star power, and Undertaker definitely is that. That's fair. Yeah, fair enough. Um, cool. So then we had uh, uh, Ziggler versus uh, Kofi for the WWE title. Yep. Uh, again, decent. Yeah, fine. Um, to be honest, I've not been mad. At, I mean, you know, I've ragged on Dolph Ziggler so much on this podcast over the time <laughs> over the time we've been doing it, right? But um, seeing him back recently and the promos that he's been cutting. Um, I, th- I think he's actually been very good. Um, yeah. For me, I wouldn't have been mad if he'd have won the championship because yeah. I'm really not high on Kofi being the champion. Ooh. Still, um, I just mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. It feels uh, what it, it feels too obvious that Kofi's going to win all the time. Yeah, I do agree that he's like a bit overpowered right now. If it's a Viking game character, I'd be asked to win enough because like it's like, it's like easy to win everything. And it's like and wins easily as well. It's like. Uh, yeah, it's like you, you put him against all these people and you think, yeah, he's he's just going to win. Why, yeah. why are they going to take the belt off him for no reason? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, and I don't like it. Um, and I'm really rooting for Samoa Joe to, to beat him at Extreme <laughs> yes. Rules for the belt. I, I would be okay with that, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. 
It's Joe's time. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hundred percent Joe's time, and it needs to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm just not. I mean, Kofi's great, sure, but oh, I don't know. I just don't. I'm not with it. I'm not. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we not. I like. You know, I don't know. I'm torn. I like Kofi. I like that the fact that he's got a championship run. But I think I think it's dragged on a bit now, and it's time for someone else to have the belt. And Joe's like perfect. Yeah, I mean, and we're only like two months removed from WrestleMania, and it is dragging on. It feels like he's had the belt for ages. <laughs> yeah, I, feel like, I mean, he's defended it, and he's you know he's had a run with it, mm. and I think that's important. He's had he's beat people, he's won his title defenses and stuff, and I think that's important. I really do uh, because you know that tops Kofi's career off, and then when you know when he loses it, and when New Day eventually split up, which they will, um, you know, then Kofi can ride off into the sunset, and he's had his championship run. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, cool, that's a cool, cool uh, finish to this match. I thought. Yes. Uh, Dolph, Dolph was uh, about to climb out the cage door at the last second. Kofi jumped out through the ropes and onto the outside uh, within the match. It's very because, cool because he's a maniac and <laughs> he's just insane. Just has yeah. no regard for his body at all. But I thought that was really great. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Cool finish. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, so, and yeah, I actually, I don't know if you've seen it. Have you seen NXT this week? Uh, I haven't had yet. No. Oh, okay. Weekend. I won't spoil it for you then. But there was okay. a the end to that cage match, which I thought was also quite cool. But we'll talk about it next week. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, good match. Uh, so we good had, uh, yeah, so we had uh, the main event, which was Seth Rollins, Seth Freaking Rollins versus Baron Corbin uh, for the Universal title. Yeah. Um, again, people rag on Baron Corbin. No, yeah. I have no problem with Baron Corbin at all. No, I love Baron Corbin. He's a great heel. Everyone hates him, which you're supposed to because it's Baron Corbin and it's a heel. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, like, that's oh, the God, Baron Corbin sure fucking hate him. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> he, he, to... <laughs> he doesn't want to like him. He's the bad guy. <laughs> he, he's, he wants to be hated, for fuck's yeah. sake. Like, um, I don't think he's a bad wrestler. Um, I like I like the boss man thing that he does, you know, like when he slides out of the ring, runs around the ring post and goes back into the ring. Okay. I like that. Uh, I think the end of days is a great finisher. I like the deep six. Mm-hmm. Um, he's good on the mic. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got a... He, there's nothing wrong with him. People just don't yeah. want him to win because their favorite superstar isn't winning the belt. That's yeah. all it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Why isn't AJ Styles the champion? Why isn't Nakamura the champion? Oh, fuck, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. it's like, look, <laughs> just get over it. Just, just, That's the way it is. <laughs> Tough yeah. shit. Like, yeah, I think we won't. I love those guys being the main event too, but that doesn't mean Baron Corbin's bad just because those guys aren't in it. It's like, yeah, but that's <laughs> what the internet thinks in the, the this, this, this day and age. Yeah. Uh, right, no. Finn Balor's not in the main event, so Baron Corbin is shit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, internet. Get the fuck out of here, man. Just watch it and... Yeah. Like, I'd watch uh, it or don't. Just make me mind. Yeah, who cares, man? For fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Anyway, right so the, um, this is the best pro wrestling on the planet. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so there's a little flub by Michael Cole, I thought it was funny. Because obviously, obviously Seth and Becky are thing, which I make a big deal, deal out of. Yeah, they're talking, talking about Becky Lynch. Like, Becky, Link, Becky Lynch's boyfriend, Becky Lynch. See, all right, she's cool. Yeah, <laughs> Becky Lynch is her own boyfriend. Cause she's yeah, Becky Lynch. Li- Becky- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the man's man. The man's man. <laughs> um, so yeah, guest referee match. Um, they hadn't announced who it was going to be, and Seth was like, oh, "Whoever it is, I'm going to beat him to death with this chair." Rawr. And then who did he announce? Lacey Evans. Oh snap! Um, right, it's genius. Uh- I thought it was very clever and I had no problem with it whatsoever. I also had no problem with the match because I thought the match panned out very well based on the story they were trying to tell, which was obviously trying to lead to a mixed tag team match. Again, fine. But I thought it was very smart because for for two reasons. One, Seth can't beat the shit out of Lacey Evans with a chair. Yeah, clever. Two, Lacey Evans is in a few with Seth Rollins' girlfriend and would obviously want to cost Seth Rollins the championship to piss Becky off. Never. Right. Tell me what's wrong with it. Tell me. Yeah, nothing. I think it's great. Right. There you I go. We must be the only <laughs> fucking people who do podcasts who who can who, who are actually rational. Yeah. They don't have common sense anymore. It just it just <laughs> makes perfect sense. But again, it's because it's not what people wanted. Well, yeah. who did you think? Who do people think was going to be the special referee? Yeah. Like we were saying on Twitter, like maybe Brock and the might make sense. He's got money bank. Yeah, but then... fine, it would have made sense. But why would he help Baron Corbin win when yeah, he's exactly. probably just gonna? Oh, you know, I even said Brock at one point, yeah. but then I thought, well, Brock wouldn't make sense because why would he help Baron Corbin win and then just beat Baron Corbin? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's exactly uh, what would have happened. So makes yeah. no sense. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a great idea. Um, Master's decent as well. Uh, crowd looking happy. That's like a bunch of AEW, CM Punk chants, like boring yeah. chants, like, jog on, dickheads. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, I really liked it. Um, Lacey was obviously trying to do the fast counts on Seth, trying to yeah. 
trying to win the slow counter and never Seth got the pin or got, and like got distracted like oh what's that over there mm. which I like yeah. it's like <laughs> I, thought, perfect, I, I, perfect. I thought she played the heel role very very well yeah great <laughs> yeah um, it's it, I don't think that's an easy thing to do no. be a special guest referee because a lot of the time it just doesn't pan out very well exactly but yeah this panned out perfectly I think yeah I agree um so after the match they made it a uh no count out match and then they made it a no DQ match so Corbin yeah. used a chair uh it's not 20 um Seth hit like a falcon arrow onto Corbin onto the chair Lace just didn't count then yeah the, <laughs> <laughs> the what? Mm, whatever and it's like hit some low blows on Seth it's like oh snap end of the day to Seth Rollins but then Becky Lynch comes down to save the day yeah. beats up Lacey and then new ref John Cohn oh snap he's back yep uh came in hit it counted the pinfall and um uh, won yeah. and yes yeah, Seth won sorry yeah <laughs> And that's, John, that's, Cone, John, that, John, Cone, John Cone did a win and is now usual junior world champion. Uh, <laughs> no, pe- people would be fuming at that. <laughs> yes, a bit. People are fuming anyway. They'd be even more fuming if John Cone was the champion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Seth counts at the end of the day. He's hit to curse off and wins. Good stuff. Good yeah, match. fine. Good. Uh, yeah, you, you We're going to get shit for this, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Our Discord will blow up. Um, oh, definitely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. But we are, So we're going to get shit for, uh, for thinking that it's okay. But it was okay, and I liked it, so... You too. By the way, speaking of Discord, if you uh, listen to this and not on that Discord, there'll be a link below of the podcast and you can check it out. I'll try to Discord a bit more um, to do that. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you had Seth to win. Now I had Corman to win because I wanted to see the Why? <laughs> I, I, just, I just wanted to be a huge troll. That's <laughs> I, to be I honest, to it would have been hilarious. It would have <laughs> been so hilarious funny. because uh, we, we'd have been talking about how we're fine with Baron Corbin being the champion and yeah. the internet would be an absolute it's, meltdown. It was amazing. <laughs> it's <laughs> It would have been awesome. Uh, yeah. We're dickheads, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, right, so that was Stomping Grounds, and I thought it was fine. Uh, B minus. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd say B minus as well. Hmm. It wasn't uh, perfect. It wasn't terrible. And that's all you can ask, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, so that's for predictions. Uh, you actually won that one, 5-4. Yes. Damn it. So what's the scores now? Because obviously I was quite far behind. 6-2 uh, now. I had 6, you have 2. You're still, still a ways behind, I am but... really behind. You're behind. I am. Can you catch up? No. Maybe. There's plenty of time left. I mean, there's about <laughs> 400 pay-per-views left this year, that's, so... That's true. We'll do, like, AEW and stuff like that, maybe, as well. Yeah. And NXT, yeah. takeovers and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Um, right, before we uh, before we sound off, a couple of little things. Um, Paul Haber and Eric Bischoff are in charge of Raw and SmackDown, respectively. What He's do you think back. about that? I'm better than ever. Yeah, um, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, I'm yeah. okay with it. Fine with Shrug. it. Um, but uh, like I see, I see where they're coming from. I see like why they could be concerned. But at the same time, it, that was a long time ago. You know, all that old stuff that happened. It's like they've probably come a long way since then. And I don't know. Um, wrestling has changed <laughs> a lot, and yeah. people's minds have changed along with it. I mean, some of them haven't. Jim Cornette, Vince Russo. I am looking at you, motherfuckers. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's work, you bro. know, yeah. A W W E, bro. It's his work, bro. Dicks. Anyway, um, I think. <laughs> Eric Bischoff, I mean, I retweeted a video yesterday about him talking about the brand split. Oh, yeah. And he was absolutely spot on. And I think that'll be the first thing to to change. No more wild card. Basically, I think they're going to want Raw and SmackDown to be different to each other. So I think the wild oh, card rule will be gone um, with immediate effect. Yeah, I agree. Like, Raw and SmackDown should be their own separate shows. Like, make yeah. them different in different ways. Like, um, have, 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 like, Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman, like, competing against each other. Have them on screen, like... That'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be ace. So I think um, I think they'll make Raw and SmackDown very different. At the minute, they're both very polished. I think they'll change it up some way. I don't know what, but it's an exciting time. Um, obviously, these things don't change overnight, and WWE isn't going to get to the pinnacle that it could be overnight. It just isn't. And but they're trying. You, you can the, at least they're trying to change it. At least, at least they're realizing that things are up shit's creek and they need to change it. Yeah. Like people say, oh, WWE needs to change. It's all got boring. And as soon as they start announce some, 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 like, some change, like, oh, they're changing this. Oh, they've got Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman. Yeah. Like, no one mind. is ever happy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you could change. <laughs> Honestly, you could bring in, I don't know who you'd even bring in, but you could bring in like the, the most beloved wrestling promoter in the world. Well, yeah, you, you can't polish a turd, and that's what it'll be. <laughs> just things like that. Just anything that the in, that the is announced by WWE at the minute is shit on. Pretty much. I yeah. put on Twitter that WWE could put on a five star pay per view, and people would still shit on it, and they would. Yep. Oh yeah, hundred percent. 
100% they would. Um, so that's going to be cool, and I'm excited to see um, how things start to progress and how things start to change. A um, couple of contract renewals. It looks like um, Gallows and Anderson and Shinsuke Nakamura have all renewed their contracts, hence okay. why you're seeing them turn up on TV. Good. I was, I was a bit worried about uh, Gallows and Anderson because they said before that they uh, wanted out of the contract. But, uh, yeah, it's good to, good to know on TV again as well with AJ. Yeah, and I think they're going to do something with them as well. And Nakamura, of course, is going to be um, going up against Finn Balor for the IC title, which um, should be money, really. Yeah, it's be amazing. Um, Based on Twitter tonight, apparently Nakamura and Seth Rollins had an incredible match in Japan. Oh, really? That we're never going to see. Yeah, so that's good. Um, (laughs) uh, Also, Seth Rollins declared that WWE is the best pro wrestling on the planet. Uh, I'm going to stick up for Seth Rollins right now. (laughs) WWE has some of the best wrestlers on the planet. Is WWE oh, yeah. the best wrestling show on the planet? No, of course it isn't. But Seth Rollins, who works for the company, isn't going to go, WWE is the s- sixth or seventh best wrestling <laughs> show on the planet. Yeah. He's like, going to, yeah, no. he's team WWE. Of course he is. He's going to, he's going to plant that flag in the ground and stand by it because he is a, he is the WWE universal champion. Yeah. I'd like, I think with, with uh, Will Ospreay, it's like, I've wrestled more shows than Seth Rollins. It's like, that doesn't make you a better wrestler. It just means you wrestle more. Like, yeah. <laughs> you can wrestle hey. 500 matches a year and still beat it. <laughs> I think Will Ospreay is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying he's bad or anything. Like, he's incredible, but I'm just saying. But it, it shows you the level that these guys are at when Will Ospreay has to have a T-shirt made <laughs> about the tweet that Seth Rollins said about him. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Seth Rollins is at the very pinnacle. Yeah, sure, Will Ospreay is a phenomenal wrestler, one of the best in the real world, yeah. no two ways about it. Of course. But Seth Rollins is the WWE Universal Champion. Will Ospreay will never be in WWE because he doesn't want to. That's, which is, you know, fair enough. You know. And that's his choice, Apple, fine. Yeah. But and the way that the internet reacts to it, oh, Seth Rollins is out of order, blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, man. People can people take things way too seriously. Yeah, seriously. Um, wrestling yeah. Twitter is the worst at the minute. It's awful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's garbage. It's toxic. It's super toxic. Uh, from all corners of it, it's super, super toxic. Why can't people just watch what they watch and enjoy it? Yeah, it's like other, other, you don't like WWE, don't watch it. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many other options for you now. Yeah. Fucking hell, Crazy. wrestling on the uh, fight. I was on the Fight TV app earlier on because I'm going to order the AEW pay per view tomorrow. Nice. And you know, there's loads of wrestling on there. So yeah. much wrestling on there that you, <laughs> you, you don't have to watch WWE. No, exactly. You don't even have to watch Raw and SmackDown. Just watch NXT, NXT UK, and 205. Right. Exactly, yeah. That's worth having the network just for those. But it people want to moan. <laughs> people want to complain. People want to um, shit on WWE. People want to be Team WWE. People are... Oh, it's The internet is mental. Yeah. It's too, much, so, too much negativity around. We need more positivity, you know. Is, nice, yeah. positive, nice positive podcast, I like to think. Yeah, and I think you have to be you have to be open minded. Sure, not everything is going to be for you, and that's fine. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You, not so, everything has to be like yeah. completely amazing. Like like I tried to tweet ages ago. Like people were complaining about Sekiro, being like, "Nah, too hard. There's no tutorial. There's no easy mode." It's like not every game is going to be, you know, super easy, and that's fine. It's not, it's not if the game's not for you. Don't play it. It's fine. There's other yeah, games out there. It's, it's so simple. It's so yeah. simple. It's but, like one of my most you know, speeches as well. It's like, till a lot of people agree with me. <laughs> yeah. like, and it's, it, I don't know, the internet's a bad place. Yeah. Crazy. Um, and it's it's a shame because we, we're all one big wrestling community, but yet we can't be all one big wrestling community when everybody hates each other. Yeah. So there are some reasonable people out there, but uh, unfortunately they're very few and far between. Yes. When it comes to mainstream wrestling, at least. I mean, you see it on the indies as well a little bit, but um, on mainstream wrestling, it's it's bad. Yes. I mean, I even saw yesterday, because um, uh, WWE are running, um, are putting the Evolve show, the 10-year 10, 10 anniversary of Evolve on the WWE Network uh, live, the oh, same yeah. day that um, AEW are having their charity show for the victims of gun violence. Oh yeah, all- and Kenny Omega tweeted something about blood money and why would you why would you not shit on a charity if you think blood money's okay? Words to that effect, anyway. Mm. And I just thought that's a massive overreaction. Like this, evolve is turning ten years old this year. Yeah, right. Um, you know, there was planning. They were planning to do an evolve show on the WWE Network to celebrate the tenth anniversary. Anyway, it just so happened that they are having that show on the same day. Look. Evolve, no, most people who have the WWE Network don't know what fucking Evolve is. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 
Just because they've got, I mean, on the card they've got Adam Cole versus um, Akira Tozawa for the NXT Championship. Nice. That's a cool match. Very cool. But these people wrestled for Evolve. They were Evolve guys before they were WWE guys. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what people don't understand. They don't read into it. They just see, oh God, WWE just trying to fuck AEW over. They don't care about charity and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. One of the most charitable organizations in the world, regardless of what you think of them, is WWE. They're not yeah. trying to shit on the victims of gun violence. They're not trying to outdo AEW because I'm certain that AEW will do more views that night than the Evolve show on the network. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing as well. You don't have to watch it live. You can watch both. It's fine. <laughs> but it, but uh, people don't think, Finn. They, 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 just, <laughs> they, they take it as they see black and they see white. Yeah. And then they, then they just go ballistic. <laughs> it's just... It's, like, read it. Read about things. Like, oh, yeah. God. Oh, they're sending WWE stars to wrestle on Evolve. Uh, they're sending former Evolve guys to wrestle on a 10th anniversary show. Yeah. Madness. Uh, it, WWE is associated with Evolve. So NXT guys, you know, WWE get guys from Evolve and then go to they go to NXT. Yeah, makes sense. Evolve has been around for years. And people, you know, like Matt Riddle, for example, wrestled in Evolve. Johnny Gargano, yeah. Tommaso Ciampa, wrestled in Evolve. Mm-hmm. So many wrestlers have done it. Just do your research, people, instead of just going ballistic. Yeah, seriously. But I'm telling you now, categorically, AEW's Fight for the Fallen will do better numbers than that Evolve show, and it won't affect it at all, and they'll make a shitload of money for charity, and Kenny Omega will be happy. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's Hopefully. all that matters. As long as Kenny Omega's happy, yeah. we're all happy. That's all what needs to be cares about. As long as their favorite wrestler's happy, then that's, that's all good. That's it, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, like, be super fans of something. By all means, we're not saying that. Yeah, of course. We're, you know, but come on, just be reasonable. That's all we want to see. We want to see people enjoying wrestling and not using wrestling as a tool to insult other people or other companies or anyone else. Yeah, exactly. It's, oh, it's, just be friendly, be, guys. Yeah, be friendly, be happy. That's the important thing. Just enjoy what you enjoy. Yeah. And that's, that's all you need. Happiness, good. Happiness equals good. Be happy. Happiness equals good. And on that note, the Games and Graps podcast <laughs> is going nowhere. The Games and Graps Twitch is still very much active and Finn Steel will be there all the time doing cool stuff. Yeah, lots of Mario. Yeah. I'm off doing commentary and other wrestling stuff, but I'm still here as well. Yes. Big misunderstanding. The Games and Grats podcast is going nowhere. And yes. on that note, <laughs> this is the Games and Grats podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And, in fact, no, just everywhere. There you go. Probably YouTube as well, I guess. Uh, yes, I need to, yeah, I keep saying it, but I need to, like, get YouTube up winning again. Look, we'll figure it out. The most we'll important thing is, <laughs> we're here. Yeah. And going nowhere. Nope. And we're going to try and make it those episodes every week from now on. Like, Absolutely. No more, no more missed, break, missed, missed weeks, I can talk. Uh, it's going to be every week, every Saturday, we'll be here. We will be here, 100%. Anyway, I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. We'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.